more chance. Let us go before him and ask to be able to restore this country that he gave to us that we fell asleep on. Let us talk to our neighbors and friends with love in our heart about the principles that made this country great. Let us work hard to preserve freedom for the next generations. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here. This is our day. This is our time. We've had generations that fought for this country in the past, that shed their blood for the very freedoms that we squandered, but it's not too late. That's why you are here. That's why Americans are meeting all across the country. Let us listen to the speakers. Let us talk to one another. Let us enjoy our time together. Let us focus on November.
Earmarks are a good thing. I'm bringing home the bacon. It's good. Folks in my district want me to get this new pork barrel. Just remember three words for those guys. November is coming. That's the message we have to remember. And by the way, I live back east. I know the accent probably gave me away. But you've got one of the greatest champions on earmarks in Jeff Flake. Jeff Flake stood when no one else would. And he really fought on earmarks. We appreciate what he did there. He really did. I don't often quote Gandhi in speeches. But I was reading the other night a quote from him that I think rings true to the movement that you're a part of and are really leading across this country. Gandhi was fighting for independence for his country against Great Britain. And during his own grassroots campaign, here's what he said about the British government that he was taking on. He said, first, they ignore us. Then, they ridicule us. Then, they attack us. And then, we win. News Talk Radio, and thank the good Lord above for News Talk Radio. Absolutely. And thank goodness for conservative bloggers and others who would put the word out, but they ignored us for a long time. And then the media and the liberals began ridiculing us. Remember the days of AstroTurf, and remember the days of saying we were evil mongers and, and bitter. And now they're attacking us in a way that is truly vicious. They're calling us everything from racist to homophobes to, 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 to bitter, angry, un-American. Actually, our majority leader, Harry Reid, he's not far from here, said we're un-American for what we're doing. And the attacks are continuing. But if we persevere, if we keep fighting this fight, folks, we're going to win this battle for our nation. We're going to win this battle.